Hi, my name is Ariana Hernandez, and the topic that I chose for my community health promotion PowerPoint was decreasing readmission to hospital in African Americans with congested heart failure. The problem in this topic is that as healthcare providers, we want to teach our patients diagnosed with congested heart failure, CHF, how to prevent readmission and hospitalizations due to complications related to heart failure. African Americans are more often than not affected by heart failure due to biological factors and social contributing factors such as hypertension, diabetes, and delays in access to treatments. African American patients may have delays in access to treatments because they may have a low income disparity which would lead to inconsistency usage of medications. They also may not have knowledge of nutrition and hydration restrictions that would apply to their diagnosis of CHF. In the learning needs assessment, um, you wanna make sure that you assess the patient's learning needs and by evaluating our patients first. Evaluate the patient's understanding of what congested heart failure is. Answer any questions they may have about their diagnoses. Um, many times they're just told that they have congested heart failure and they're explained briefly about their diagnosis, but they don't get a full understanding of what's going on with their body and why it's important for them to adhere to um, care. It is a priority to gain an understanding of the resources that they have and discuss any alternative resources that they may not be aware of. Uh, evaluate the disparities this group of individuals faces. Also discuss their medications with them and why it is important for them to adhere to their medication regimen. Health promotion model. The model that I chose for this topic is the precede seed proceed model. It's like a roadmap that identifies and implements appropriate intervention strategies. It is helpful in planning, implementing, and evaluating behavior change in order to promote and protect health. Pre-seed is one of the first phases. It stands for predisposing, reinforcing, and enabling constructs in educational ecological diagnosis and evaluation. The second phase is PROCEED. That stands for policy, regulatory, and organizational constructs in educational and environmental development. I inputted a diagram in here. Um, looking to the right, there's a start. So the first phase is planning. You wanna know uh, what can be achieved by your objectives, your goal what needs to be changed to achieve it. And as you assess with your learning needs, you wanna be able to evaluate what their lifestyle is, what are their predisposing factors, um, how much they know about their diagnoses. And from there, you can start setting up the program. So identify the administrative and financial policies needed. So you can work your way down. And once you have a plan in place, you implement and you proceed with the plan into the evaluation phase. From there, you're able to evaluate what the patient has learned, what needs to be adjusted, and was the outcome achieved or not. The Health Promotion Health Education Plan. Health, heart failure readmission to hospital is often related to excess dietary sodium intake fluid weight gain, and poor medication adherence. The goal that I set for this health promotion educational plan is for African-American patients to have reduced frequent admissions by managing the disease throughout its progression. The objectives that will indicate the plan has been successful are the patient will make lifestyle changes such as decrease their sodium intake, be on fluid restrictions as ordered by the doctor. Uh, the patient will state their understanding of importance of adherence to the medication regimen. Also provide the patient with social support and resources to aid in management of the disease. It's very important for them to have um, 
either social support or know where what the resources are. Uh, you want to encourage the patient to teach back pertinent information pertaining to their heart failure. Again, this will help um, you understand their understanding of their disease and of the disease process. You can give um, pamphlets and visual aids that are easy to read and understand. Uh, this would be very beneficial for them to, for them and the community. The research and evidence that I found um, that was important for the plan and the educational promotion is the, I found three articles. One article is the Preventing Heart Failure Readmissions. This article discusses enhancing teaching and learning by identifying, identifying the learning needs of the patient, patient's family, and caregivers. You want to incorporate various methods, written, verbal, and visual aids in helping them to understand the plan of action. Set the second article that I found was combining training and knowledge translation with quality improvement, reduce 30-day heart failure readmissions in community hospital. The article discusses the importance of consistent adherence to standard medication regimens and medication reconciliation. Lastly, the article that I found um, talks about teach back strategy, which will allow the nurse to validate the patient's and caregiver's knowledge and identify topics requiring reinforcement. This method addresses low health literacy, a major barrier in managing chronic illness for older adults and for African Americans. To evaluate the plan, you want to evaluate that patients have not been readmitted to the hospital with related preventable complications of congested heart failure within 30 days of health promotion teaching. In conclusion, by using the precede proceed model to provide health promotion education and evaluate their readiness and outcomes, patients can live with a better quality of life with this chronic illness and in return can help educate the community because they can provide teaching to their family members and ways to prevent hypertension, diabetes, and heart failure altogether by making lifestyle changes. And here is my reference page.